वेलकम टू जोलॉजिस्ट मोहसिन बिफोर गोइंग फॉर रेप्टाइल्स एंड देयर फीचर्स एंड द रेस्ट ग्रुप्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द स्ट्रक्चर एंड फिजियोलॉजी ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ एन एमनियोटिक एग हेयर इज द मॉडल डायग्राम ऑफ एन एमनियोटिक एग आर यू एबल टू लेबल दीज पार्ट और कॉम्पोनेंट्स विद करेक्ट नेम्स यस और नो इफ नो let's help you to understand these parts and their physiological functions let's start from outside the outermost part of the egg is shell and shell is a hard rough and grainy texture material you can feel its roughness by rubbing your finger on it it has almost 17000 pores it is semi permeable mean that air and vapors can cross this shell easily this shell is made up of calcium carbonate these are the things to remember for exam have thin cuticle or bloom outside to protect from bacteria and dust so the cuticle and bloom are two different terms or terminologies which are used in different books so you can also call them as synonyms the next structure inside the shell is albumin albumin mean white of an egg albumin meaning white in latin is white of an egg this albumin contain more than 40 proteins like albumin mucoproteins globulins etc albumin contain 90% water remember it there are four layers of thick and thin materials in the albumin uh, as observed in the amniotic egg albumin provide protection and additional nutrients to embryo during growth it is the physiological function of albumin in the egg the next structure is air space or air bubble air space or air cell is produced when egg cools after hatching you know the uh, physical phenomena that when any substance is uh, heated it expands and when it is cooled it contracts so the egg material when cool down after hatching outside or in the air it contracts and an air cell or air space is produced on the larger side of the cell it again provides space for expansion when egg is incubated present on larger or wider side of egg the next structure is yolk sac you can see the labeling in the diagram yolk sac yolk is a uh, color range from light yellow to dark yellow depending upon the feed and species it may be dark brown in color uh, less water and more proteins than egg white components uh, of uh, yolk include fats proteins vitamins like vitamin a and d minerals like iron phosphorus calcium thiamine riboflavin etc it is also a source of lecithin an emulsifier of uh, lipids so you must remember these facts for uh, exams or academics the next part uh, of the amniotic egg is allantois very important layer allantois is a sac filled with clear fluid help in gaseous exchange and waste removal waste removal mean liquid waste removal and uh, you must remember it uh, for the next time it differentiate between amniotes and uh, an amniotes an amniotes mean those eggs which don't have uh, amnion the name allantois refer to sausage shape these are some facts which uh, must be remember for exams or for uh, uh, tests the next structure is chorion very important layer chorion is the outermost fetal membrane around embryo it develops from vital line membrane these are the multiple choice questions you must remember them major functions are to protect and nurture the embryo protect and nurture the embryo the next structure of the amniotic egg is amnion the structure due to which we call the egg as amniotic egg so here is the amnion you can see the labeling amnion enclose embryo in it that is the most important thing to remember 
has amniotic fluid which act as buffer from physical injury similarly uh, it has a fluid also help uh, prevent dehydration of the embryo or related structures it ruptures at the time of hatching or during after birth now you are able to label these parts of amniotic egg yes so these are all the complete summary of the amniotic egg which you have understood today thanks for click one more click on subscribe button would help you in learning and value addition in future our upcoming lecture is amazing reptiles their features their classifications and important multiple choice questions with respect to exams thanks for watching goodbye